Today in the Boot Guy, we're talking about the woods and stream, the Endeavor Extreme 12 inch. Now, chances are when you walk into your local booth store, unless you live somewhere where cold weather is just a part of life, it's an everyday thing, you're probably not going to see this boot on the shelf. In my opinion, that's a shame, especially if you're somewhere where it does hit, you know, negatives during the winter time. Because a boot like this, even though it's not engineered for really work and all that other stuff, there are people who enjoy outdoor winter sports. Even if it's just taking a walk or having to walk the dog or hanging out with the kids, that something like this would keep you warm and dry it would last a super long time. So yeah, the boot's a beast and it should be a beast. 2,440 grams of insulation. That's a lot of insulation. That's more insulation than I could tell you in comparison to numbers of socks that you have on. Four pairs, five pairs, something like that. The construction and the materials used on this boot are beautiful when you consider where it was built for. When you think about just where they want you to use a boot like this, the choice of the urethanes, the choice of the hand of the leather, the choice of the nylon is it all makes sense. Let's start at the top. Check out these boot pulls. They separate from the boot so you can actually get your hand in there. You can actually get a hand with a glove in there and get this boot on and off. Since it has all that insulation, it's padded all the way down. They don't stop anywhere and make it lightweight or kind of pliable. It's purely padded. It's purely insulated. And you're going to feel it when you get this thing on your foot. Now you've got a mixture of materials here. You've got this 1250 Cordura Ballistic Nylon, this beautiful leather, and this beautiful rubberized Everguard type leather material back here that really is going to take a lot of abuse and a lot of abrasion when you're kicking this thing on and off. Now the toe is reinforced and the heel is reinforced, which are two great things when you think about something like this, because you're going to be kicking these things off after a 15 hour day of ice fishing, hunting, tracking, whatever you're doing in a boot like this, snowmobiling, well yeah, this is a perfect boot for snowmobiling. But yeah, you're going to be spending a lot of time kicking this thing on and off. So they reinforce those parts. And by reinforcing those parts, they build a stronger, more durable and dependable boot for outdoor activities. Now the insulation they use is the Thinsulate Platinum. That has odor control built into it. But they also double it up with ecstatic odor control. Now that's not so you don't have stinky feet. That's more for you hunters out there. So it doesn't carry and loft around your sweet smell. Built in between all the layers of insulation, leather, and nylon, you're going to find the extreme waterproof breathable barrier, which is a really nice barrier. But chances are, when you're wearing a boot that's this warm in the environment that it's made for, you're probably not going to come in contact with lots of running, moving water, unless you're stepping through ice. Now, if you're thinking that lacing this thing up, taking it on and off is going to be a hard time, it's not. They have really big hooks up here. You can hit these hooks without even looking, and they're spaced apart. There's only three of them that laces you into this boot. It isn't like there's 15 or something for the height of the boot, because you really only need three, because you're probably going to have thermal socks, your long johns tucked in, and you might even tuck your pants into this boot. So you don't need a lot up here. Now what you're going to find inside this boot is going to be this, and this is a wool insole, and this is... Probably my least favorite part. I'm not a big fan of these insoles. I understand that they work, and they have worked for generations of guys who have had to work on the ice and play in really cold environments. Having a piece of wool inside really keeps your foot warm and dry as this starts to get filled up with sweat or just moisture in general. What I don't like about it is getting your boot on and off consistently. An insole like this eventually is going to start to twist and bend and turn. There should really be more rigidity to this. There should be a harder surface somewhere just so it maintains its shape, but still keeps the properties that make it so great. Now, sizing and fitting a pair of these, well, there's not much to it. You buy your size or a half size or a full size bigger because you need space. Insulated, waterproof, extreme boots like this, you need a little bit of room inside. You cannot buy this 
to fit, to be super tight or anything like that. You need air to move around inside there. You need to heat up that air inside so it keeps the blood flowing, so it keeps your feet comfortable. So that's the Endeavor Extreme by Woods and Stream, 12 inch waterproof insulated. If you've ever worn the Endeavor by Woods and Stream, please comment below. Let guys know the environment in which you are wearing this beast of a boot. Hey, if you want to see some detailed photos or if you want to get some better stats on this boot, swing by to bootguy.com. I'll have all that worked up into a nice little posting and I'll also have a few links that'll make it a lot easier getting a pair of these on your feet. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below, it really helps out. And if you should have any questions about buying Woods and Stream boots or work boots in general, shoot me over an email. Alright, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.